Ants are social insects that exhibit a complex caste system, a division of labor, and specialized roles within the colony. This caste system is a fundamental characteristic of ant societies and plays a crucial role in their success and survival. In this video, I explained in detail the ants and their complex caste systems. But before this, if you are new to this channel then subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Let's back to the video. Queen. At the top of the caste system is the queen ant. The queen's primary function is reproduction. She is significantly larger than other ants in the colony and is responsible for laying eggs. The queen's main goal is to produce offspring and ensure the continuation of the colony. The queen ant is the largest individual in the colony and is responsible for reproduction. She has specialized reproductive organs and is capable of laying eggs. Queen ants are typically long-lived compared to other ants in the colony. And their primary role is to ensure the survival and growth of the colony by producing offspring. Some ant species have multiple queens, while others have a single dominant queen. Workers. The majority of ants in a colony are workers. They are sterile females and form the largest caste within the colony. Workers perform a wide range of tasks necessary for the survival and maintenance of the colony. These tasks include foraging for food, building and maintaining the nest, caring for the young, larvae and pupae, and defending the colony. Workers are further divided into subcastes based on their specific duties. Within the worker caste, there are often further subdivisions based on age and specialization. Young worker ants, known as nurses, care for the eggs, larvae, and pupae. Older workers may become foragers, leaving the nest to search for food and bring it back to the colony. Some workers may be involved in nest construction, while others specialize in defense, using their strong mandibles or venomous stings to protect the colony. A. Foragers. These workers are responsible for locating and gathering food resources. They venture out from the nest in search of food and bring it back to the colony. B. Nurses. Nurses care for the eggs, larvae, and pupae. They ensure the young ants receive proper nourishment, maintain the nest's cleanliness, and protect the developing brood. Circa soldiers. Soldier ants have specialized anatomical features, such as solid jaws or stingers, that enable them to defend the colony against predators and intruders. Their primary role is to protect the colony and maintain its security. Drones. Drones are male ants, and their sole purpose is reproduction. They are generally larger than workers, but smaller than the queen. Their main function is to mate with the queen during the nuptial flight, after which they die. Drones do not participate in any other tasks within the colony. Males. Male ants, also known as drones, have a specific role in the ant colony, to mate with the queens. Male ants typically have wings and are capable of flight. However, their lifespan is relatively short, and their only purpose is to mate. After mating, males die, and the queen stores the sperm for future use in laying eggs. The number of males in a colony is usually much smaller than the number of workers. Alates. Alates are winged ants, both males and females, that are potential future queens and drones. They are produced by the queen to establish new colonies. When conditions are favorable, alates participate in a nuptial flight during which the virgin queens mate with drones from other colonies. After mating, the queens shed their wings and start a new colony, while the males die shortly after. The caste system in ant colonies is highly organized and coordinated. It ensures that all necessary tasks are carried out efficiently and effectively, promoting the survival and growth of the colony as a whole. The division of labor among different castes allows ants to exploit different ecological niches and adapt to a wide range of environments. 
it is important to note that the caste system in ants is not fixed and can be flexible based on environmental conditions and the needs of the colony. For example, some species of ants can produce new queens or workers if the need arises and workers can transition between tasks depending on the colony's requirements. The complex caste system in ants is a remarkable example of division of labor and specialization, allowing colonies to efficiently carry out various tasks essential for survival and reproduction. I hope so now you will understand the ants and their complex caste systems. Thanks for watching my content. If you like my content press the like button and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thank you goodbye.